do you get frustrated when your FIFA Ultimate Team player shoots like that? Well, I do, as you can see. But luckily, I found the guys at Foot Helper who helped me not to make my players shoot like absolute Josh McGuinnesses. And they can help you as well. If you want your weekend league games doing for you, if you want a bit of guidance, if you want some tips and tricks, you can, you know, ask those to do it for a price. And you can get a discount if you use my code, all Grandpa Joe, at checkout for 20% off your order. All right, hello everybody, and welcome to the preview for Rochdale versus Hull City on Saturday, the seventeenth of October. Kickoff at three p.m. at the Crown at the Crown Oil Arena. It is on I Follow Tigers Live for ten pound, and the games are coming thick and fast now. This game comes just the three days before the Wimbledon game at the KCOM. If you're a season ticket holder. You should have your live streaming code for that game. If not, um, I'd give the club a ring ASAP because as this video premieres, it will be shut down pretty much. The ticket office. But So if you've not got your streaming code, give them a ring and come, give them a ring now and come back to this video later. Anyway, uh, in terms of team news then, I just, I just want to preface this with it's sore throat Joe again so it's not it's not corona I promise I can still taste I'm not coughing I've just got sore throat I'm fine I'm fine Richie Smallwood will return from a three week injury layoff the club captain picked up an injury against West Ham United in the Carabao Cup and missed the wins against Northampton and Plymouth and also missed the 4-1 defeat to Fleetwood last time out in addition Tom Eves will return from an ankle injury sustained in the season opener in the Carabao Cup against Sunderland and has been missing ever since um, Josh McGuinness will return from international duty with Northern Ireland in time to feature Callum Jones played for Wales under-19s yesterday, so his availability is unknown. I think it was yesterday. It was either yesterday or the day before. I, I'm, as I'm recording this, I don't know when it was. I've lost track of what day it is at this point. Um, James Scott remains out after injuring his ankle in a 2-0 victory. Of injuring is. I am from Hull, aren't I? Injuring his ankle, Joe, you... You plonker. Anyway, away from that, on to ref watch. Gavin Ward's the referee with Andrew Fox and Matthew Jones, the two liners. And the fourth official is Sean Hudson. On to the stats then. Hull City had 13 shots on goal against Fleetwood. Of those 13 attempts, five hit the target. Grant McCann had a... 47.3% of possession. City committed 8 fouls and won 11. What do I think then? Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Drinks break. <laughs> uh, what do I think? Congrats to Callum Jones on his international debut for Wales under 19s. Pretty much fully fit squad now. Really pleased Richie Smallwood is back. We need to bounce back from Fleetwood. Will new signing Henry come when the feature? I think no, but maybe against Grimsby or Harrogate. In case you don't know, Henry come Wender. Is it come? It's come Wender or come Wader, I think. If I've got it wrong, I'll change it. Where is he? Yeah, Henry come Wender. Um, it was very high rated at Leeds. But they didn't give him a pro deal. Liverpool wanted him. He came here. And I reckon he'll be in our under-23s this year. Also about the under-23s. Congrats to Jake Leake on his first pro deal. Will Eves or McGuinness start? Head-to-head -head battles then. Malik Wilkes will have to get past the Rochdale captain, Owen O'Connell. And Greg Doherty will have to win the midfield battle against Ollie Rathbone. And if we believe the rumours... Doherty and Rathbone may well have been teammates this year if things had have worked out. Uh, Rathbone, formerly a Man United, we were apparently targeting him in the summer and if you were watching Transfer Talk throughout the window, you will have known that. Ah. 
No opposite view. And no another view. I couldn't find anybody in time. So, we'll go on to current form. We'll skip all that. That, should say, that shouldn't say Fleetwood. That should say Rochdale. That's that fixed up then. And, yeah. City. Two defeats. Only one of them in the league, though, which is pretty decent. And one of the, one of the two was to a Premier League side whose attack was worth over double the amount of our entire club. And, uh, hey, talking about West Ham, actually, 30 million for Ben Rama. Now, Ben Rama's a fantastic player. We're putting the water down. Ben Rama's a fantastic player. Do not get me wrong. But, how have Brentford got between 5 and 8 million more for Ben Rama than we got for Bowen? When in about 20 more games than Jared Bowen last season, Ben Rama only got one more goal. I was saying it to people at school saying, you, Ben Rama's class, you can't compare Bowen to Ben Rama. I know Ben Rama's class, I'm not slagging him off. But in terms of goal to game ratio, Bowen's was better. In less games, he scored only one less goal. And another thing about that I saw on Twitter yesterday. The money that... Um, West... I'm not sure if, it, if it's even West Ham we were buying it. I saw something about that. But the money that Brentford will get for Ben Rama, we should have got that 25, 30 million up front for Jared Bowen. We should have. And the money that they've got for Watkins as well and how they've replaced Watkins adequately with Ivan Turney and they've got you know players like players like Brian Buemo at that club ready to fill in for Ben Rama. It that shows a club that's well run. Anyway, I've gone off on a massive tangent there. And my throat's starting to hurt again. Anyway, in terms of Rochdale's form, um four uh, well, one win in the league in uh, the last five games in all competitions that came against Fleetwood. Timo then beat us 4-1, so it doesn't bode well. And, uh, yeah, just lost to Accrington. Drew and Man United under-21s. Decent for them. Lost to Whipswich and drew with Portsmouth. That should be a D. Um, yeah. So, um, I'm trying... Hang on, this is... Well, there we go. Um, in terms of the league table, then, City third. One point off the top. Gillingham, who we beat on the opening day, are only two points behind us. It is tight this year. And Fleetwood down in 14th will be up there this year. Sunderland in 7th will climb the table. Portsmouth in 9th will climb the table. Um, Wigan and Charlton, they'll climb the table. But it's safe to say the early front runners for getting the two automatic spots are us, Lincoln. And Ipswich. But Ipswich started like a house on fire last year and slowly tailed off. So could that happen again? That could happen to us. That could happen to Lincoln. But I think Lincoln are more comparable to Wickham. And I thought, oh yeah, they started well. They won't keep it up. Wickham did. Might Lincoln. Maybe they don't need Danny Cowley to keep climbing the divisions now. Uh, in terms of EFL Trophy, there's nothing there in terms of in terms of um, changes to the table in the Carabao Cup, you know, we're, we're out with that. And in the FA Cup, we're not entering that yet. Around the grounds on League One match day six, Milton Keynes Dons face Gillingham at the Stadium MK. AFC Wimbledon welcome Shrewsbury Town. Bristol Rovers play Burton Albion. And Wigan Athletic travel to the Valley to face Charlton. Two relegated teams from the Championship last year facing up against one another. Crew Alexandra welcome Blackpool to Crew. Um, Lincoln travel to Highbury to take on Fleetwood. Might they slip up like we did? Um, Ipswich Town welcome Accrington Stanley to Portman Road. And Peterborough United face Oxford United. 
Plymouth Argyle face Northampton Town on the south coast and also on the south coast Portsmouth welcome Doncaster Rovers to Fratton Park and finally Swindon Town will face Sunderland. Shared shirts then, we're talking about Paul McShane today. Still at Rochdale is Paul McShane. Don't sell McShane! Super Paul McShane, I just don't think you understand. If you sell McShane, Super Paul McShane, you'll have it right on your hands. Don't sell McShane. We didn't sell him, we let him go because we're stupid. Anyway, yeah, Paul McShane, very good for us. And those are his career stats so far, all taken from Wikipedia. So take some of them with a bit of a pinch of salt. Um... Yeah, started his career in Ireland at St. Joseph's Boys before moving over to Manchester United. Never played for Man United but was sent out on loan to Walsall and Brighton during his time there. Brighton where he played 38 times scoring four goals, notably Walsall playing just the four games but getting a goal, not too bad. He then joined West Brom after leaving Manchester United. In 32 games he scored twice, then played for Sunderland for two years and in 24 games scored none. But he did come on loan to us from Sunderland and in 17 games on loan he scored once and that was in our that was in our first year in the Premier League and that prompted us to sign him permanently the longest time he was at a club in during his career and if I'm honest I think that will stay that way um, and in 102 permanent games for Hull City scored three goals one of which was the goal that sent us to the promised land of the Premier League. He did go out on loan during his time with us, though, to Barnsley and Crystal Palace, but Steve Bruce came in and said, Paul, your class, stay with me. Uh, after leaving us in 2015, John Reading, uh, I actually shook Paul McShane's hand when I was a mascot. Um, in 96 games, scored three goals. And uh, now he plays for Rochdale and has played 16 times so far. And for his country, on a senior level, played 33 times, scored none. And the Irish guy from HITC Sport is vocal on how he doesn't like the dude, but I love him. On to the predicted 11 then. Uh, Matt Ingram in goal, you can see I've put a little player picture down there in the kit. So Matt Ingram in goal, back for... Back for Josh Emmanuel, Jordi Device, Reese Burke, and Callum Elder. Richie Smaller returns, wearing the armband alongside George Honeyman and Greg Doherty, with Hakeeb Adelican. I'm going to say Adelican because everyone says Adelican. Hakeeb Adelican on the right, Keen Lewis Potter on the left, and Malik Wilkes up top. The bench is George Long, Louis Coyle, Tom Eaves, Alfie Jones, Regan Slater, Thomas Mayer, and Josh McGuinness. That's the team in all its glory. Now we're going to move on to my predicted score. What's it going to be? 2-0. I think we will bounce back and beat Rochdale at the Crown Oil Arena. Thank you very much for watching the preview. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. If you need help with your foot champions, it starts this weekend. If you want help with your division rivals, use my code at foot helpers. Link in the description. Click on the Twitter, then that'll take you to all of their links. Use my code old Grandpa Joe for 20 percent off they're great guys they'll help you out where you need it and they'll they'll you know pimp your account out a little bit you know you want the extra couple of thousand coins you know use it and pay for pay for their service you'll have a discount if you use my code and then you'll uh you'll get a couple uh extra thousand coins than uh than you normally would Anyway, thank you all very much for watching the preview. I'm off to do some homework because it's long, gruelling and could get a bit dull. So I'm going to edit this and then just, yeah, get on with that because I don't, I don't really fancy a detention. So I'll see you later, everyone. Bye-bye.